Hello. Hi. What's your name? Um, Grace. Grace. Yeah. I'm Joey. Nice to meet <laughs> nice you. Nice to meet you. So we've got a sign here. Yeah. Yes. And do you disagree with it? I, I, it was, wait, change your, change my mind about eating meat for vegans. It says, if you're not vegan, you support animal abuse. Change my mind. Do you agree um, that if you're not vegan, well, you support I'm, animal abuse? I'm pescatarian. Okay. Or I call myself pescatarian. What's a pescatarian? Um, a pescatarian is someone who does not eat meat like cows or pigs, so no bacon. And but they eat sea animals. Okay. So I eat like fish, crabs, lobster, okay. clams, oyster, that sort of stuff. Yeah. And what about dairy, cheese, and eggs? Um, I will have eggs, and I do have milk with cereal. Okay. I don't eat a lot of milk. I mean, I don't drink a lot of milk. You don't drink a lot of milk. That's fine. Don't be no, nervous. That's cool. I just I just wanted to get a, an outline of what you think about. Um, so veganism encompasses all of these right. industries for a reason. So you don't think that uh, eating fish causes animal abuse or supports animal abuse? I do not support animal abuse at all. Um, I have like a dog. Um, I don't support animal abuse. I eat... I think a lot of people agree about thinking about that part. Um, I don't support it, but I would say like if a fish, you know, a fish comes with its life, and then at the end, I see why not. Do you think fish live their life to the end and then they're dragged out the ocean and killed? Okay. I think I think a lot of people will fish and then eat the fish, right? Even when it's still okay. living. So if you've got, alter you've got alternatives, do you think it's moral to drag fish out the ocean and kill them for food? That's. I think if after they, you know, live their lives. Um, what do you and mean by that statement? Live their lives. What do you mean? <laughs> so a fish could be swimming, and when it dies, then I see why not eat so it. So you're saying if a fish died of natural causes, it's like I don't, I don't think that's animal abuse if a fish died of natural causes. By the way. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be, I think that would be fine, and then eating it. Okay. Is that um, what you do? Do you find dead uh, crabs and that have lived a happy life and that <laughs> died naturally? No, but I think that's the way it should go because the industry is like really okay. not great. I've okay. seen like I've seen videos on. Wait, wait one sec. Can we just keep this on the topic here? Sure. Because we're twist. I'm saying if you're yeah. not vegan, you support animal abuse. I'm not trying to look for a scenario <laughs> where eating no. a like a, a animal that's already dead is okay. I want to know if you're not vegan in today's society here in the UK when you have alternatives around. You know what vegan alternatives yeah, are yeah. when, and you 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 choose to support the industries that kill animals or exploit animals. Do you support animal abuse? I do not support animal abuse. No, I don't. Explain how how that's true. How I. D how don't you support it if you pay for them to be killed? That's a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I don't have a really. You're right about that. Um. Because animals are obviously killed on your behalf if you you want right. to consume them. If if I go to a store and buy you know salmon or crabs or whatever. You're funding the demand. Right, yeah, I totally, no, I agree with everything you're saying, and I would be vegan, I just, um, it's really hard for me to get protein, like, in ways, I think. Okay. Like, I, I get okay, really hungry. Fine. You know, you know uh, I thought about the same thing, so you're not the only one when right. I first... Right, because you're vegan, right? Yeah, 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 so <laughs> where do you think protein originally comes from? Um, <laughs> well, like the animals you eat, the sea animals you eat, where do you think they get their protein from? I mean, like, they might eat a lot of... A lot of animals in they the ocean eat, eat each plants, other, right. but they, or you know, they might eat. Yeah. See, they do oh, eat no, each other. Ocean eating fish. <laughs> what about land animals? Where do you think they get their protein from? Um, I think well, eating grass and um, food, other yeah, food. like grains and no, things really. like that. I'm not big into. Oh, like, well, that's um, okay. Like, I don't know much about. Do you think you can get protein by eating plants? That's what I'll just ask you. I, yeah, yeah, no, yes, you can get vitamins and protein from plants. Yeah. I know that. Okay. Do you, yeah. So, do you think there's any justification to choose animal products over vegan products? Like, what is the what is the justified re like? How do you justify that when you have alternatives to go? I want to pay for fish to be killed, dragged out the ocean, suffocate, stabbed, gutted, all of that. When you have a alternative made of beans or tofu or grains or. Um, well, if there was an alternative, I would eat it okay. instead of uh, meat. Is there an alternative? 
Um, I don't know enough about it to know okay. if there is. I'm sure there. Like I know you can get protein from like nuts and beans and pl- like. Spinach has it, right? I think. <laughs> so all nine essential amino acids which make up protein are found in plants originally. So even lettuce has amino acids. Mm-hmm. Um, all plants contain protein in varying levels. Then I would eat that. Yeah, yeah. I do eat that. Yeah. <laughs> I do eat that with some seafood. But. Would you be worried about your health if you chose plant-based eating? Um, not if I had. Not if I would, was full and knew I had enough protein going into my system yeah. and I was like healthy. My doctor said I was like healthy. That's interesting. So. These industries that exploit animals, you agree that by virtue of supply and demand, when you pay for uh, products that directly exploit and kill animals, you're supporting animal abuse. Do you agree with that? I think, I think that would include that, yes. Because yeah. I know in your heart you might not. <laughs> right, and a lot of people probably deny it, like what they're thinking about it and be like, yes, but deny it themselves. Because this stirs up a little bit of like a conscience, because in your heart you're against animal abuse, but in your actions... You're like supporting it, even yeah. if you don't intend to. Yeah. So what I, totally I use this agree. analogy, like, I'm against domestic violence, but I beat my wife every day. <laughs> Does that make logical horrible, sense? Horrible, horrible, horrible. Does yeah, that sound consistent? No, that makes sense, and that sounds horrible when you like hear that, yeah. yeah. Like, I love my dog so much, but <laughs> I'm going to kill him and eat him. I don't think that's right. No. Yeah. And not in a survival situation either, because we're not in a survival situation here where we have to do some crazy stuff, hey? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all terrible stuff. Oh, no. So would you agree that, you, like, in today's society, where there's a bunch of alternatives, you can get protein, obviously. We're, it's pretty established now that you can get all your nutrition on a well-planned vegan diet. So, do you think there's any justification for not choosing vegan options? Um, I think that if you are a meat eater and you didn't get it from, like, if we, I think part of the issue is, like, the industry. Like, all these chickens are getting put into, like, farms. A macerator? Yeah. I have don't you heard know. of a macerator? Let's see if I, we can yeah, find yeah, it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. But, um, Keep I don't talking. believe that killing animals just for us to eat when they're still alive is right. I think like a chicken should be able to, you know, live its life and then at the end when it died, instead of it going to waste, I guess, or going back into the earth, if someone likes meat and likes chicken, they should be able to have the chicken. So my dog died, is it okay to eat their body and not not let it go to waste? Never had dog. I wouldn't eat dog personally. Have you had a pet before? Yeah, yeah, I have a dog. Okay. If your dog died, would you not let their body go to waste and eat it? <laughs> Just wondering. Curious. Um, I personally wouldn't know. Why is that? Because I don't really eat dog. I don't eat, I don't eat farm animals or land animals. This is a dairy cow. Yeah. She's going to the slaughterhouse because she can't produce milk anymore. This is her, she's, this is her udder. Right. She's being uh, executed for someone's burger. But she comes from the dairy industry, so 50% of the beef in this country comes from the dairy industry. So if you're eating dairy, this is right. what we support. And I don't I don't think that's right. Yeah. I think that that like an animal should have its life. Yeah. Because an animal is an animal and I think it should have its life and it should like the industry is like we'll just raise all these animals and then kill them when they're still living. I don't think that's right. Yeah. And I don't support that at all. Yeah. Um, but you generally do you do support it though. I support what? You do, but you said you, you, I mean, you don't support it in your heart, but I'm saying in your actions, do you support it? You know, we're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. supply and demand. <laughs> so if you're not vegan, you support it. This is what I'm and trying to say. Vegan. You, you yeah, might yeah, not yeah. support I understand it here, that. but here, like. But like when, when you look at your plate, then you're supporting. It's a dead body, yeah, or it's cheese, that. or it's a dead fish. <laughs> or, so these industries only exist because of the public. This is what the point right. I'm trying to and make. And that's what I'm saying. I don't think is right. Yeah. I don't think that's right that they're getting all all raised to just be killed and treated like that. Well, like, do you think animals have moral value and deserve the right to live their own life without being used or exploited as a product? Um, I think a, like a cow should just be a cow or yeah. a chicken should just be a chicken. Like, I don't eat them myself. Um, Who taught you that, that dead animals are food? Um, I think it's just in our culture, kind culture. of. Um, yeah. And it's in a lot of cultures, it you is. know. Um, when you're like little, you know, your parents serve you a plate of something. It's like, this is food. This is what, you know, we're having for dinner tonight. And it's like... They don't like, show you this, do they? 
No. They probably haven't seen no. it themselves. They probably haven't. A lot of things, I think part of the reason why, you know, you get served that too is people don't, not everyone knows this goes on. And I think that's not right. Um, Do you think some, they might intuitively know something's up, but they just don't want to face it? Maybe, maybe. Or some people just simply grew up on that for generations, you know, like their parents taught them that and their parents taught them that, you know, and they just kind of continued on with tradition without knowing what really, like giving it much thought. Like no one really go, gives a second thought about picking up a pack of, you know, meat in a grocery store. Or I shouldn't say no one because there are people in this world who do, but I don't believe many people do, like, um, pick up a package of meat and ha have a second thought about it, being like, hmm, where was this made? How was it, how was it, like... When you see fish get dragged out the ocean by their face, um, they're swimming peacefully through the ocean, they get right. dragged out by their face and stabbed in the throat and gutted and things like that. Right. That, that whole process, you wouldn't be connected to when you purchase it in the exactly. supermarket. You're yeah. just like, oh, food, I'm hungry, and you know, I, need, I have a family I gotta feed, you know, oh, this works. Yeah. And so you pick it up and you buy it without thinking like, Huh, what happened to the fish or what happened to the cow or to the dairy cow right, or the, right. the, the the hens that get minced up alive exactly. I, don't, I don't need any of that anyways the egg industry um, so the hens don't get minced, mixed up uh, minced up alive sorry the the male baby chicks will get minced up alive because they don't produce eggs the hens will be you know exploited for their eggs and then killed for chicken so that's why vegans don't consume eggs because yeah. they cause the same problem right. you sound like a very <laughs> honest person <laughs> oh no you do you sound honest, like you're very, you're not trying to escape from the issue here. No, because it's an issue that's very real. Yeah. And even though I might sound like a horrible human, like, no, because I eat meat. Um, I don't think that. <laughs> Do you think that I think that? No, I don't think no, so no, at no. all. I understand right. what's got... It's an issue that's all around the yeah. world that's happening, and people don't, I genuinely believe, that a lot of people don't give a second thought about yeah. a hamburger or anything. Well, I ate meat for 26 years. I, I used all animal right. products. I didn't know about the industry, but once right. I did, I couldn't live with that hypocrisy in my heart. I had to align what I did with what I felt, yeah. you know, and what I believed, because I believed I wasn't an animal abuser, but my actions were completely contradictory right. to that, which is why I used the domestic violence analogy. And it's a good analogy. I I don't, it doesn't make that. sense to me to have a rape-free Monday. It's just like, be, be anti-rape, or, you know, right. even a racist-free right. Monday, be anti-racist. If you're against animal abuse, your actions have to align with that. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I remember, like, when I was younger, I did actually eat, you know, cow and pig, and I, I ate all of that. I stopped eating it personally because I didn't like the taste of like most meats and I'm like why am I eating this if I don't even like it hmm. so that's how I be how I first stopped yeah but I mean these points are really good points too and I did watch in my class um, in my classes I remember in ninth grade I think um, my science teacher yeah. showed us a video of like how the farms were yeah. and how they were treating animals and I'm like oh my god I'm glad yeah, I yeah. stopped eating meat because that's horrendous what happened do you think you would think twice next time you go to purchase animal products? Oh yeah, I, 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 do, I do try and be conscious, yeah, yeah. but I'm like with what I'm purchasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, What if I gave you like a little challenge to do and it's free, it's free <laughs> on Facebook, it's called a vegan challenge. Okay. Because, you know, and then the, like I obviously want you to be a consistent anti-animal abuse yeah. vegan for right. the rest of your life but this is 22 days where they'll sort of guide you and you can do it like sort of as a foot in the door and and mm -hmm. go move on from there then you know what to eat and you know right. these questions that you right. have because you might be concerned about protein which is mm -hmm. not a nutrient of concern if you're eating enough calories but right. but yeah this is a really good these these are some more resources at the environment and health but would you complete the challenge um, on Facebook and then um, go from there? <laughs> I can try, yeah. That's a pretty, that's an interesting challenge. I feel like that's like scarier, but then once you're in the challenge, yeah. you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. Yeah, what's scary about letting go of the foods that you're used to? Maybe, well, I'm saying for people in general, I yeah. think it'd be like a scary challenge. Yeah. Um, for me personally, it's just like getting, making sure I have enough nutrients and yeah. I'm being healthy and my body's getting what it needs, you know, yeah. the vitamins and the protein and all that. It's scary because like you eat all these products without um, really thinking twice yeah. about it. And so then to adapt your diet 
but also be conscientious of your health and making sure you have everything. I think it's scary because of that. Yeah. Like the ad adapting and trying to make sure you have everything yeah. that your body needs. That's what I think. There's a fantastic yeah. research source here. It's called nutritionfacts.org and they're research scientists and they pull up the best available e uh, evidence on uh, plant-based eating. And there was a big uh, peer-reviewed statement that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics brought out. And they said that a vegan diet can be healthy for all stages of life. Mm -hmm. uh, pregnancy, infancy, athletes, right. the elderly, and it's backed by about 117 studies. So you could look up that and then you get the backing of such a large group of nutrition, uh, nutrition experts. There's about 100,000 of them. And it's backed by the NHS as well. As long as it's well balanced and you're getting your B12 and you're making sure that you're eating an, a balanced array of different foods, you're eating enough food. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's I think that's a good challenge. That's why the vegan <laughs> challenge, they'll help you. They've got guidance on there for you. Right, right. Yeah, and I, I guess I'm like, ha oh. Don't lose the table. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank so you. Everything just blows off. I, it's like, I think it would be easier for me just because I'm halfway there already yeah. anyways. But um, I think you're actually all the way there here, <laughs> but just not in your day-to-day -day right, actions. Right, Because like I eat like fish and other seafood. And if even. I had a fish here and I dragged him out the, the tank and started to stab the fish, you'd probably <laughs> no, tell me to stop. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want you to do that. <laughs> yeah, because you know fish feel pain and they suffer and... Yeah, yeah. They have, like, they're different to us, but they have a desire to live their lives. I mean, just this morning, I'm not even lying, just this morning, me and my um, little sister were taking yeah. the trash out and yeah. um, I saw like this half, like the bird was injured. It was one of those pigeons. Yep. And there was like, it looked like something attacked the pigeon. I felt so bad. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, so you, you, I'm so, I'm you like, hate I'm glad seeing I, animals being harmed. No, you, you'd hate that. Because it, it's like, they they feel pain, they feel like suffering, and it's not great seeing an animal suffer. I mean, it's not great seeing a person suffer, never mind an animal. So, so whenever you pay for that fish, you're causing that right. fish's suffering. Right. So if, if it was in your face, you would like... No. If you've seen that fish in your face suffering, like, you wouldn't... Back in the water. I don't want to pay for that. You'd go for the vegan option, wouldn't you? Um, I... What do you mean? What would be like the if other you've vegan seen option? the if you, whenever you paid for fish, if you've seen yeah. their suffering in your face, you would go for the vegan option. What's the vegan option? Are you saying like a synthetic fish or something? One of those? Well, you could get some tofu fish, or you could get some beans, <laughs> or some uh, fruit and potatoes, and there's many different you know uh, alternatives now made out of you know different mm -hmm. plant products that mimic yeah, the I'd taste. Probably go. I would go for that if I saw like a fish literally getting tossed out of a water, killed, and then like given to me. I'd be like, nope. No, I'm gonna eat some pasta instead. Yeah, I'll have like an Italian pasta dish, you know, yeah. veggies and pasta. Yeah. <laughs> or something. Wait, that's not even Italian. Yeah, 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 it is. Pasta's Italian, yeah. It's yeah. fine what you put on there. But it was really. Get the point. It was really lovely to talk to you. Yeah, you sound you. like you're all the way there, just not in your actions. <laughs> so you'd say, but, but what, before we finish that, you agree with this statement? Um. Um. <laughs> Do you just still disagree with it? No, no, no. Uh, if you're not vegan, you support animal abuse. I don't... That's really tough. <laughs> I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to say that, but most people don't let the animals like live to the end of their lives before killing them, you know. Or I mean before eating them, not killing them. They would get killed first before they got So eaten. Sorry, I'm not making so sense. So if you're not vegan, you would support what happens to animals for your food and products? <laughs> you don't want to agree with it because no, if you I agree with it, then you'd have to align yourself with that. Well, you're, you're kind of calling yourself an animal abuser if you agree with it. Is that because well, I'm that, not really worried about myself? I'm just thinking of all the other people because. Well, I want to only know about you. <laughs> oh, me personally. Like if what you think of the statement, not what other people think. Hmm. But I want to know what you think of it. Do you think it's animal abuse to not be vegan? Do you think you you support the industries that abuse well, animals if you're not vegan? I think you I think you're supporting the industries, yes. Yeah. Even if you don't mean to. Okay. Um But what about the people that Oh. I don't that's a really tough question. <laughs> I don't know because yeah, personally, I don't support, like, you know, I guess I do support it with fish and seafood when I have it, but, um... So you, you would say that, you know... It's such a tough question. It's, it's, well, you can I can leave you with the thought. Maybe, yeah. you can, uh, maybe you can ask yourself that question later on and see if it sinks in a little more. Maybe do a little bit of research, you know, watch yeah. Cowspiracy, watch um, Land of Hope and Glory, see those industries and see what you think. 
really nice to talk to you. Yeah, it was really nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I guess uh, we're going to cut that there, but no one's really done a very good job at changing my mind. So I think we'll continue to do this and see if anyone can change my mind. You can try a vegan challenge, all right? How's that sound? How do you, how do you become a vegan? What do you eat? What do you eat? So most people eat vegan food anyway. So pasta, rice, bread, potatoes, starches, um, anything that comes from an animal though, like cheese and milk and yogurt, find an alternative for. Find something, to, find a vegan yogurt, find a vegan cheese. Is there vegan milk? Yeah, soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, there's about 13. Is, is soy milk still vegan? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't come from an animal? So I'm, I'm, I'm already part vegan anyway because I do eat pasta a lot. Okay, yeah, so your diet is, but veganism is like, it's like a belief, okay? But I do believe that yeah. animals should not be yeah. killed. Yeah, you do. But that your actions might still purchase the products that hurt them, that's why when you align, when you put in align your belief and your action, that's when you're a, belie uh, a vegan. And you, I feel like I'm nearly a vegan because yeah. I do. Yeah, I think so too. I think in your heart you are. And then when you know what products from the supermarket are vegan, so all fruits and vegetables, all beans, all rice, all, all bread, all of those, anything comes from a plant. But when you see cheese from a cow, get the vegan cheese, okay? Made from coconuts or nuts. When you see eggs, they're not vegan. Use tofu, make scrambled tofu. When you see um, dairy, milk, dairy products, ice cream, get the vegan version. And most people at the supermarket that, you, that work there will tell you where the vegan options are in that supermarket. As long as it didn't come from an animal, it's vegan. And then you, you can start thinking about later on, you know, clothing, you know, skin, animal skin, they're killed for their clothes, their leather, their wool, you know, feathers, all of these, other areas they're tested on for products they're, they're they're used and exploited in different areas of our lives so it's good to be start to be conscious of if things are coming from an animal or if they came from plants i, I definitely support i definitely think people should think about them yeah. think about in future because i think that killing a dog or something big it is it's 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 wrong yeah so I think people should think twice, think about, think about what they eat and what they do. 100% agree. There's no difference between killing a dog or a pig or a fish, is there? No. No. That's, that's amazing that you feel that way, dude. And I hope you. this is the beginning of a vegan journey for you.